you go down to the woods today, you're sure for a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you're sure for a big surprise. Because mom and dad are dark wizards. Um, well, this is... Um, it all looks like I've come into a stag do. Right, hello! Welcome! You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another exciting gaming video. And yes, I am generally being serious. This is really exciting. This is Hogwarts Legacy. And if you're wondering what's exciting about it, well, first things first, using motion controllers and if I can hold the right trigger down on my controller I've got six degrees of freedom with my wand which is awesome absolutely awesome I tell oh, sorry absolutely awesome I tell you but a few other things as well that we're gonna come on to in just a moment what we need to do first is find a willing target well unlikely that they're going to be willing but we're going to find a target nonetheless and we're here currently in the not so dark part of the dark forest and i'm sure there are a couple of dark wizards or weirdos and murderers out here somewhere they usually are but anyway there we go there's a victim <laughs> right so I'm currently playing on an RX 7900 XTX GPU, a Ryzen 9 7900 CPU. I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM and we're using a Quest 3 headset. Now I'm just gonna demo something just here and then I'm gonna show you how you set it all up. It's pretty easy. If you're familiar with UEVR, it's quite standard profile injection, but some people aren't that familiar. So I'm gonna go through pretty much the basics anyway what we've got here that's really exciting is uh, not only have we got the six degrees of freedom and we've also got if I hold the right trigger and if you can just see in the right corner there the spells I've got selected so if I press A or X or X or B oh yeah yeah we don't attract you over yet mate but basically, I can just hold the right trigger down, press any of the buttons, and we've got spells. Dead easy. But what if you want more? What if you want something a little bit more than that? So how about... Now, I do apologise. I haven't fooled around with the graphics settings here. I didn't think that was the most important thing. I'll come back and do that another time. Here you can see the lighting on the water looks a little bit... Well, not the best. Let's move out of the way of that because it's distracting me. Right, so what we can do, if you've got your controller and you've got your right thumb on the thumb mess, you hold that down and if you tap the left controller stick to the right, we get the spell inventory. And, oh, what's this funny thing at the bottom here? We'll show you. Right, so there's a spell we've got there. So we've got Incendio. But what we're going to do is we're going to choose Expelliarmus or let's choose Confringo because Confringo is quite an easy one. So what we do is we press the RT button and then where we want to assign it to. So let's press the Y key, which is where it's already assigned to anyway. And as you can see, we've got this funny shape down here. This is what's known as a spell glyph. So if I let go of that trigger button and press the B button to go back and now I'm going to hold the right trigger button down and oh, I'm going to hold the right trigger button down and what you do is you make that spell shape and go right like that. Oh, if I do it properly. And then when as soon as I let go of the right trigger button now, it casts a spell which is pretty awesome. So I'll show you that again. Now you have to be careful which way you do it. So when you see the spell glyphs, so let's just hover over Confringo again. 
you can see the thicker end of the line is where you start from. So as you can see, it's a Z, so just make the Z shape like that, and you're holding the right trigger button down all at the same time, and then you let go. Hey presto, we have a wonderful fireball. Now the thing is when you do this, you go into bullet time. So things are slowed down. You can't cast any other spells. You have to be wary in combat. However, if you've already selected this spell, now I can hold the right trigger down again and flick my wrist. Oh, well I don't know where these are going, but you can flick your wrist. And you can continue casting the spells. Now I haven't figured out the aiming. This is literally the first time I've actually tried this profile. So I'm sure there's some knack to doing it. It did take me a few minutes to figure out which way to do the cliffs, but it's a pretty cool way of actually playing this game. Now, I'm going to have a go with some of these dudes around here. Now, first thing first, when you do set this profile up, if you go into the settings and press select, and if I remember where it is again, I think it's in this one here. Ah, there we go. So, camera relative targeting must be on. So basically, I'll select active targets with the camera. Now, like I say, this is going to be my first test of this. So, oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gathering when they've got the white lines. Like so. Bullseye. So when they've got the white line highlighted. Oh, shit. No, too hard. Like so. Marvelous strike. Oops. Oh, I've, oh, I've got to be careful here because I don't have any health, any health potions or anything. Not really the most sensible idea to come out in a combat jaunt with zero health. But what you you can see the gist of it anyway. You can see the gist of it. So you just literally just Fringo. flick. I mean that's flying off like anywhere where anybody's guesses. Let's just oh, let's just pinch that. But basically, it's a really cool way of playing this. So, do you want to be a wizard? Oh yes, you do. So this is a way, or a great way of actually adding another top level of immersion to this game. And I know there's loads of people on my channel have asked me, how you do this? I want to play with six stuff. I want to be a wizard, Harry. Well, my name's not Harry, it's Headset VR. Well, it's not Headset VR. I was never christened that, I'll be honest. But I've had lots of people asking how you did this, how you do that, etc., etc. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go in there, get my ass pulled. I mean, we're going to go over and kill these dark wizards just to give it a bit of a showcase. And then I'm going to show you how you do it. Now, I will come back a little bit later in the week and try a bit of gameplay for this because I want to see how this goes in a proper full-length bit of play. So, let's just get over here. I can hear some weirdos. I've heard you don't want to try that. Oh. You're not going to like this. Can bring them. Go to hard. Whoa! Okay, did I say I was gonna kill these people? Okay, right, so that didn't end particularly well. Anyway, like I said, we'll come back and we'll do a bit more gameplay of that another time. This was just such an exciting thing to actually showcase that I wanted to show what it was actually like. Now, it is a little bit fiddly to get used to, so you might take a little bit of getting used to it. But anyway, the main thing is we're gonna show you how you actually get this all set up 
and running. What you need to do is download UEVR version 1040, which is a slightly older version. So what you do is go into the UEVR page, click on UEVR nightly, and we're gonna go for releases. So there's 244 releases. So as you can see, we've got, oh, there's 01045, news to me. Right, so scroll down until you find 040. Now, I don't know whether this works on a more recent version, but these were the pure instructions that have been put in the Discord. So basically, download that, and when you've got the zip file, extract it to somewhere. Now, I've got it in my downloads from a while ago, which is just here. And then if you open it up and go into the UEVR injector, restart as administrator, click yes, and it should open up here. Now, what we need to do is import a config. So you need to be on the flat to VR Discord. And if you go into the pin section of the game, so when you're in there, what you do is you look for the Unreal Engine VR channels. You enable access to the Unreal Engine VR channels and in the game section, search for Hogwarts Legacy, as you can see at the top here. And if you can just see this little pin here where it says pin messages, if you go into that, it'll show you, well, everything you need to see basically. And just scroll down to get the Hogwarts Legacy .zip just there. Now I've already downloaded that, so I'm just going to hit import config and into downloads. No, it's not in downloads. And I've got it all in imported configs. And I've got Hogwarts Legacy. I'll click on that and hit the open button. Now, it'll tell you here that there's a DLL plugin. Now, although it doesn't tell you this instructions, what I did was I slightly waited. I didn't click yes straight away. So then what we're going to do is we're going to start the game up. Right, now the game is launching and we're currently preparing shaders. Now, it's advised in the instructions for best possible results. We wait till the shaders are finished and then we inject. So that's pretty much on the title menu. So we'll just sit and wait for these to finish going through. And if I just pull up UEVR. So once that's done, I'll accept the DLL wa uh, warning. I click yes. And then this is the file we're going to be injecting. So we just minimize that down. We don't need that on screen. And then if you can see this little drop down, pull down arrow here, search for Hogwarts Legacy, and then we'll inject. Now, of course, naturally for this, if you're running a Quest 3, you need to have enabled your oculus link straight away and as you can see you're probably thinking hang on we're on a black screen what's going on so you go into the insert menu to pull up uevr and then what you do is hit desktop spectator view and check that and as you can see we're back to normality so then from there we can press any key to start and as I, I think I did mention, but I'm going to mention it again, make sure you have camera relative targeting put on. So that way then when you look at a target and it gets a silhouette around the edge, that is a target you're going to be targeting. Okay, so let's just come out. Now, now I will be honest, while trying to do this video, I did have the odd crash. Well, I did, I did have a crash while trying to play the game. So, what I have done is I've tried using the most recent version of UEVR nightly, which is 1045. That's what we've got here today. It seems to work as well, so I'm not sure whether it is limited to the specific versions. But this one's working, so, well, there we go. Anyway... Uh oh! Ah! Little boogers!
<laughs> Fucking hell. Right, I haven't got a fear of spoilers, but I might be getting one pretty soon. But anyway, this is a fantastic way to play this game. Oh, what am I coming for? Was a bit of loot. But it seems that they don't really want me to. All these eggs here. Anyway, this is a fantastic way to play in this game. It does add a new level of immersion. I think it is still slightly a work in progress. There are a couple of bugs to be on there. A few people mentioned about crashes. I've had a couple of crashes while playing. But this is something that is absolutely amazing. And it's such an immersive way to play a game like Hogwarts Legacy. It really is. Because a lot of people have really wanted six off with wands. And well, now we've got it. Now we've got it. Anyway. I'm just going to end the video just here. I would like to say thank you very much for watching. This is Headset VR playing Hogwarts Legacy using the Spellglyph Sixtoff Motion Controls Profile. Quirky, try and say that when you're drunk. Anyway, if you can support the channel, please do give the video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Smash the subscribe for more VR related content from the channel. Otherwise, if you've got comments to make, put them in the usual place. And we'll see you for the next video. Take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye bye for now guys. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.